league in Austria, former US NTV assistant in charge of turning around an Anchorage program with just one winning season in the last 25 years. And we are underway here for the Ralph in game one. On Adams, he's a guy. Oh. Janet Tween, a nice stretch pass. Joe coming in, tripped on his way. Will this be a penalty Early shot? Yes, it is. <laughs> Whoa. Again, you just look at the good stretch pass that you see out of Gabe Bass. We've seen this a lot, but he's in clear there. And because he gets his feet taken out from him and doesn't get that shot on goal, you see Brad Shepard, he's right in position, makes an excellent call, and we're gonna have a penalty shot. So it's Minnesota State was unsuccessful. We'll see what Janet Tweenen can do. Oh, the pump Just the start that they've had, I think You've just seen kind of a, a group that into the back of the net as it stands. Though Carlson, happy of the iron, and now a chance there for Cole Smith. And the back of the net, North Dakota. Seconds after, the penalty shot goes awry. UID on the board, and it's Ludwig Hoff, the goal scorer. Get an opportunity on the penalty shot. Number one, you can't be disappointed in yourself and they come out and they have a real good shift you see a good shot from the point with bodies in front it looks like it gets tipped and originally there cole smith thought that he was gonna basically put that one in anchorage has been outshot by everybody but one this year is casey johnson who scored his only career goal yeah you can use that as momentum we thought that would really get the crowd engaged oh gardner in front adams right there carlson another save Officially too many men is the call going against the Seawolves. So 25 minutes into this one, first power play chance. Brought to you by the Minkota Windows folks. And finding the back of the net, great mismatch. Seconds into the man advantage, and it's 2-0 North Dakota. And Brett Gardner, right there you're going to see Bernard Docker just fans on that shot. But what Grant Mismash does, he picks it up, understands he's got time, but who's going to be right in front? Big number 22. The goaltender never even sees this, and those are those little things that you got to do. ABD getting the primary assist after whiffing on the shot that kept it alive, and here comes Jackson Teen pulling up. Anxious, and a goal! The first career for Jackson Teen, and it's 3 0 North Dakota. Career goal, but again, a long stretch pass by Tyconic there. Look at the patience, a sprawling defenseman, and he just pulls that. Kind of gets the goaltender down. You're going to see right here, he gets this to his backhand, opens up Carlson, and slides this five hole. That's a filthy move right there. Oh, oh, oh. On this Alaska Anchorage lineup. So it's not as though physically he's that much bigger than everybody else's. Toby sees this one trickle past him, and the Seawolves get on the board midway through the second on the power play. And this one just redirects, and it's going to plinkle in between his pads right there is that shot you're gonna see and as a goaltender you know if maybe if he just stays another face-off win by Gardner 22 to 9 North Dakota winning the face-off battle tonight and Gardner punches one past Carlson on the power play you see the feed down here and it's just gonna be a redirect watch the goaltender's legs open up to make that save he thinks it's going to his far right pad. He's extending out to make that, and it's a quick redirect right in front. Of October, the last time they gave up more than three. Chance now in front. Big save by Tomey. Nils Rygaard was skating in all alone. Advantage in period number two. Can they make it three for three? Bernard Decker from the point with Gardner in front, providing a little screen on Carlson. Right here, this looked to be tight. That skate might have came up before they even get in there, and I'm a little surprised. I think this, I think this is one you got to challenge. Jason Pear is now able to push it forward. Corey Fenwick loses out as Dixon Bowen tries to skate in. Now Johnson able to find the back of the net. Second career goal for Casey. They both come against the Seawolves, and it's five to two UND. And right here, just pops out. He alertly just fires this and gets it through. And a quick surprise look at He's looking left right here, doesn't even see it. And that one kind of makes him a little frustrated. End this three-game losing streak. Get North Dakota back on the winning track as this shot gets pushed in front. Send in two cracks at it. And Carlson makes the save on both occasions. North Dakota, by the way, three minutes away from their first win against an unranked opponent this season. They were 0-3-1, entering as a chance falls in front, sending the initial shot. Payne 
Had a chance at the rebound. Carlson, though, quick to cover. Not a lot of time in this Minn Kota Windows power play for the Seawolves to generate anything. One shot goes just wide, and that's going to do it for game number one. North Dakota ends their Black Friday woes, a 5-2 win over Alaska Anchorage.